Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got an exciting blend for you guys today. And uh, since I'm still working on how I'm formatting the uh, half hour uh, streams from now on, what I'm doing, I've already prepared my tea, so I don't even get to say, let's start this water because yeah, it's already done. So anyway, I've got a great blend for you guys today. It's an incredible, uh, well, it smells incredible. I, I, I hate that I can't smell it in front of you guys for the first time. But here it is. I've got Big Red Robe from Tilula. They're a... Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. They're a... Uh, Rachel, welcome. They are a, uh, a tea shop in... Uh, 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 I forgot the name of the... I, I, I just had it on the, top, uh, on the tip of my tongue. Sneha, Welcome. Uh, and it just, uh, it just escaped me. I'm brain farting. Uh, but the, uh, Park Ridge, there it is, Park Ridge. Hey, Ma, welcome, welcome. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this out because, Greg, welcome. Because I'm still feeling my way around this, uh, half hour, this half hour, uh, stream. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is this incredible color. This looks beautiful. I'm going to show you in just a moment. See, look at that. It's like so clear, practically see-through. If it wasn't for the reflection, you could see right through it. The tea today is called uh, Big Red Robe. It's from Tilula. Uh, <coughs> they're a great shop. <coughs> oh, excuse me. They're a great shop that uh, I frequent on occasion. Uh, I wish I was closer. I really do because I'd be able to go there more often. Um, but this is a Wu Yi, uh, a, a Wu Yi Oolong tea. Uh, it says Wu Yi Mountain Rock, or yeah, Mountain Rock, Wu Yi Mountain Rock Oolong. Okay, yeah, that, <laughs> that wasn't as hard as I thought. Anyway, so um, hopefully, I, I well, I've arranged for one of uh, Tilula's managers to come on and uh, talk a little bit about it. Uh, so you know, hopefully she'll be here in a, in a, in a minute or two. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what this tea looks like. Um, I'll show you guys, yeah, I'm pulling out the, the steeped ones already, but I forgot. I already set aside a couple. So you'll take a look here. These are really long cut leaves. Uh, this is more in, in the traditional uh, Chinese style of, uh, of oolong. You can see it's very dark, um, but it's got a lot of green in it. So that means it has, it has not been uh, super duper oxidized, mm -hmm. uh, but it's pretty well oxidized. I would imagine maybe around, I don't know, 60 to 75% oxidized um actually no that's probably over overestimating i would say like maybe 55 well hopefully uh, i'll be able to get the uh the answer from juliet when she comes in uh so this is what it looks like when it's dried out now take a look at it uh after it's done hey teresa welcome so after it's done you can see there's quite a difference let's pull out one of these, oh, there we go. So, oh wow, that's actually, I'm, I'm surprised. I thought I might have oversteeped it a little bit, but it looks like the leaves have not opened up all the way. So this could probably take another steep or two, uh, depending on how long. I actually uh, undercut the five minute time a little bit. Um, well, Elisa, welcome. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I undercut the five minute time uh, just a little bit because I didn't want to oversteep it. I thought I was, um, I thought I was, I was overdoing it, but apparently not. Um, yeah, it, it does have like that seaweed kind of uh, feel to it, um, just as far as like the shape is concerned. But it doesn't have that uh, that rubbery kind of uh, texture. Right now, it, this feels like it's more solid than regular seaweed, which is nice. There we go. Okay, 
So, upon smelling it, uh, when I first opened up the, uh, the, the packet, I got a sense of, of smoky. Waving back. <laughs> uh, is it Chinese or Taiwanese? It's Chinese. Um, <coughs> from, <coughs> oh, excuse me, from the Wuyi, uh, from the Wuyi province. Uh, it's got a very smoky and earthy, uh, earthy scent to it. Oh, it's, it's very fragrant, uh, and very hearty. Like, I'm really loving the way that this smells. Mm. I haven't tasted it yet, but the, um, the scent... What do you mean, ew? It's, is it too strong for you? I mean, it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but... It's it's mine. I I, pref I tend to prefer like the really uh, the really grounded, really savory flavors, uh, especially this one since it's it's kind of smoky, which is kind of surprising considering that uh, it's almost it's still a little green, um, but you know I mean it, it is an oolong, so it's not going to be fully fully oxidized, um, but it's a little bit more green than uh, than I've seen other Chinese oolongs. Oh, but this smells so good. Well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my first sip down the hatch. Oh, that is nice. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. Generally, when uh, when I drink a... Uh... Oh, yeah, absolutely. I like the, the, the taste of tea always does that. Because when I drink, I think about what it is that I'm intaking. And... Um, it really like wakens the, the senses. You're, you're drinking uh, a flavor, but you're also smelling it. You're also feeling it uh, in your tongue and in your mouth. Um, there are a lot of, ooh, of, of nuances. Sorry, I just kind of bit my tongue there. There's a lot of nuances that uh, tea can, can have if you don't know what to look for. Uh, and this is one of those teas that it has... A lot of different notes to it that I'm picking up on. So right off the top, I'm getting a lot of the earthiness. Um, it's very, it's very savory. Very, um, what's what I'm looking for? Like it's 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 strong scented but not strong flavored. Um, there's a little bit of a smokiness, which I really appreciate. Uh, for those of you who've uh, heard me say it before, it's like I, I love uh, a good lapsang, a nice, strong, smoky blend. Um, but for this one, like it's it's got that kind of connotation to it, where there's a slight smoke. It's not overpowering. So uh, for people who like a little bit of smoke, uh, but not too much, they can't handle the lapsang, I would definitely recommend this. And, you know, it's, it's got that same kind of, um, that same kind of quality that other, uh, rock oolongs have had. Uh, I've done like the, uh, the volcanic oolong, which was a type of rock oolong and it has that same quality of, um, smooth strength. Uh, and, and I guess that's, that's, that's the best way I can think of, uh, describing it where it'll wake you up it'll definitely get your your senses going and um um it does go into your nose but it uh what's more important is how it comes out of your nose uh i'll explain that because it's very that that can that, that sounds very weird um but when you when you drink a tea and you breathe out through your nose, you get a second, a second helping sometimes. Um, I've learned that from, from Thomas, who's done the, uh, he's come on the stream a couple times. And, you know, when you, when you breathe in, um, I believe it's what, like 70% or 80% of your sense of taste is smell. So when you drink in, yeah, you're you're taking in the air, but when you breathe out, that 
relapse of the flavor takes on a whole new uh, perspective. All right, looks like uh, Juliet is here. I'm I am going to try to figure out how to invite her. Um, it usually uh, it usually either has the other person ask or it usually prompts me to do it. I don't know how to do it uh, first uh, off the top of my head, but we'll figure it out. Uh, pin this comment. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I, I think she's still setting up over there. Okay, so. Ah, there you are. Waving, waving. I see you, Juliet. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to see if I can uh, pull you in. If I can. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Okay, I'm looking. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. I'm... Try to figure this out on the fly. Juliet is uh, one of the, I think you're a manager uh, at Tilula. Either, they're very active, so yeah, I'm, it's a safe bet. But I've never had that, <laughs> that discussion before. How do I do this? Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for you to request, Juliet, because I'm... <laughs> <coughs> I'm a little bit lost there. Unless it lets me do it from up here, which... No, it's not letting me. Doggone it. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so... Um, well, I forgot what I was talking about. After, uh, oh yeah, the, 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 the quality of the rock oolong and how you uh, taste it a second time. So, um, for instance, I'm going to talk about it as it happens. I'm going to take another sip of my tea and then breathe out through my nose. Now, when I'm drinking, it's really hard to breathe in through your nose at the same time. So generally, you're going to have to breathe in with your mouth and take in the flavor there. I swallowed and then I breathe through my nose and I feel a whole new sensation uh, and a whole new flavor as you uh, as you breathe out because first time going in you have the water and the water tends to dampen the flavor of uh, of the teas uh, depending on depending on the quality, depending on um, how much tea you use, that can affect the flavor. But when you breathe out, you're getting none of the water, all of the flavor, and what's left in the uh, what basically what's left is pure flavor. So, and you know the, the funny thing is like now that I'm doing this and I get that second taste, I'm hesitating to open my mouth again to speak because like I can I feel like I can hold my breath in uh, behind my lips and just savor the taste a little bit. And that, that's interesting because I've never noticed that before. Yeah, it only works once. It only works once on uh, on the exhale. On the inhale, it's very um, like it kind of loads the flavor in, and then exhaling, you get this this whole new sensation. I'm like I I really need to to start doing that more often, just in my private time, because like I'm real. It, it's it's it's. It's kind of eye-opening uh, when when you do it that way. I never I never realized uh, how how that could be. Ah, that's really good. I'm gonna try. No, that's still not working. 
Yeah, I don't know how to do it. Sorry, Juliet. <laughs> you can figure it out on your end. I would greatly appreciate it because it's just not working on my uh, on my side. You can try it. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you how do you do it? So you select the person watching the stream. How? Okay, like I uh, nothing's yeah. happening. That's the problem. Like no, like from the from the uh, people who are watching, right? So wait. Oh, oh mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh... Look for the participation the... list. Okay, oh. that's what I'm trying to do. Like, nothing's Maybe coming up when there. I do it. Yeah, nothing. It's... I guess it might just be, uh... Oh, what did I do? Did I just... Oh, wait. It just switched cameras on me. Okay. Yeah, it might just be not available on mobile. But, I mean, I've done it before. I've done it one time with uh, with Miriam, so I I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought it was it was supposed to, like it's not giving me the option. No. Oh. It says it like when I pull it up, it says just delete comment, pin this comment, or block. I'm like I don't want to do any of that. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's that's awful. Oh, I need to figure out how to. I, I like. I'm seriously looking into other ways to um, to stream because I don't know. This is just so limited. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant. <laughs> I really meant for for this to to be a uh, to be a more interactive stream. I don't know. They keep changing up the software. I used to be able to do it. But in any case. So well, while you're here, Juliet, you might as well uh, talk a little bit uh, about the uh, Big Red Robe. Um, I gave them a basic introduction about it. It says, uh, I told them it was a Wuyi uh, Mountain Rock Oolong. I had to do that all off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, if you want to, uh, chat a little bit about it, uh, let us read, because, I mean, unfortunately it's not <laughs> letting you speak, uh, at all. And I'm still, I'm still trying. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> it's not working. <coughs> But anyway, as I'm uh, as I'm I'm uh, tasting this, it's very uh, it's very light um, in in intensity. Like it's got a really well rounded, hearty uh, hearty flavor, which I just, I really appreciate. This is mm, this is some incredible stuff. Um, okay, so on the. Uh, if I remember this correctly, on the label, it says Big Red Robe, and then underneath it says Da Hong Pao, which is the, I believe it's a translation of Big Red Robe, if I remember um, when you guys were talking about it on the stream. So it says, pay homage to the tea bush honored by a Mandarin who attributed his survival, its curative powers, and draped his red robe over it in tribute. Uh, this long, bold tea, uh, leaf tea delivers wonderfully balanced, nutty, fresh taste. I don't get much nut from it, um, but that's okay because I, I usually don't taste nut unless it's a nut tea kind of thing, you know? Um, I don't know, maybe maybe my uh, my wires are a little bit crossed sometimes, but I get a lot of the earthiness. I get a lot of the... Um, Kind of, I got slight cocoa, uh, cocoa flavors in it. Um, very, it, it's not chocolatey, but it's got like that dark chocolate kind of quality to it. Um, and it's really, it's it's really like smooth and and um, kind of silky. Yeah, where's Julia? Oh, Hi, Tina. How are you? I'm good. 
So they hey, have... hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, okay, so this is a surprise. Right. Okay. Hi. Hello, well, hello. I should probably turn down my computer because it'll mess me up. Hopefully, so, uh, so hopefully we'll be able to... It'll be able to translate well from phone to phone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's probably like 10, 20 second delay, maybe. Yeah, and that's so unnerving. Anyway. Like, I look up and Snail's watching it on the TV, and I'm like, hey, I already yeah, did that weird. part. <laughs> All right, well, you tell me, you turn down my volume, but you can just tell me if, if it's working out okay. In the meantime, I am brewing up some um, dark oolong, Taiwanese. Oh, Taiwanese, I mean, nice. Have... So, what's the yeah. mm -hmm. what's the difference between a regular oolong and a dark oolong? So, oolongs in general are so complex. Um, the dark oolong is going to be just very heavily oxidized, like all the way oxidized. It's just basically it's like a black tea. If you saw it, if I could show you a picture of it, you would think it was a black tea. Um, but oolongs, as you know, because you've taken our class, oh yes, it's uh, they can they can be so lightly oxidized that they're like a green tea, but you know much more heavily oxidized, and then it's more like a black tea. So. But oolongs in general are kind of like in between a green tea and a black tea. Oh, yeah. So they're semi, right? They're semi. But there's just such a wide range. So Yeah, because yeah. there's like so many ways that you can uh, process them. I mean, you can do it like a Chinese oolong, like this one, which is more uh, not rolled, but like it, it curls uh, into itself. Okay, yeah. Unlike... Different shapes. Yeah. And, and, and that's, that's the beauty of it because... It's like it, it releases the flavor so much faster than the uh, than the Taiwanese, which is usually bald. Um, mm -hmm. So you get a really heavy flavor first time out. Um, I actually I actually uh, forgot to read the instructions. Normally, when I brew an oolong, um, I do it for for about three minutes, uh, depending on the yeah. depending on this. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I wound oh, up doing. Oh, uh, it's it's just a cough. It's uh, post nasal drip happens every year, and yeah, everybody looks at me like I'm carrying. Like Sorry, I like I I'm just had to. Oh no, it's okay. I, I, at this point, I'm used to it. Like it's 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 all whatever. I have fun with it. <laughs> But anyway, in, yeah. so you're enjoying. So, how many um, seats have you done of the Da Hong Bao? Uh, you just done the one. Just the first one, yeah. Because um, I'm so I'm trying to do like a half hour, uh, a half hour stretch for these, and that doesn't leave much time for me to do two steeps. Um, <laughs> but like, I always tell people whenever I talk about oolongs that a, a really good oolong is an all day tea. Like you can, if you do it right, you can get sure. about five steeps out of it, no problem. Depending on the quality of the tea, of course, and the temperature and the time. I mean, there's so it, it, it's an art form. So, right, and it's it's so um, it's so up to you, right? It's so subjective. It's like if you want to brew it a little bit longer, then sure, you might not get as many steeps out of it then, you know. But um, in fact, what I'm doing now, and I don't. Tell me if you've done this, where we're having an oolong, and I'm only steeping it for actually about 30 seconds, and it's a small teacup size for my husband and myself. I'm doing a gaiwan, oh, okay. so it's only about, and this one's a small one, um, and it's for those of you who don't know what a gaiwan is, it's, it's basically, I'm, I'm just putting the leaves right into this cup. It doesn't have a handle in it, um, so it's, again, 30 seconds, and I'm just going to start drinking it, and then I'll just fill it up. I'll fill, refill it and have another drink. So. Yeah, and like that, uh, I, I think that's uh, when we went to uh, our last, that wasn't a class, it was like a, uh, the lecture with uh, Bill, Bill, ah, I forgot. Bill, name. Bill Waddington. Bill Waddington. I was thinking about Bill Holden, I'm like, no, that's the actor. Uh, but yeah, Bill <laughs> Waddington, uh, he was talking about that, doing the three, uh, the 30 second steeps, and that would be done for hours and hours and hours 
Uh, and that's literally an all day tea, you know, cause I mean, yeah. you're sitting there, you're drinking and you're refilling and like, I would love to do that one day, just take an entire day and go start to finish and maybe taking notes on the way just to see how the flavor changes. Oh, for sure. It's so fun. Oh yeah. Like I would. So, I, so I'm just, so I'm serving up. My husband is on the phone with, um, a with his brother, I think, but anyway, I just made his tea. I'm putting it here. Uh, yeah, if we were on camera, he was totally going to join us. So. But, um, anyway, 30 seconds deep, so I'll do another one afterwards. But, yeah, if you saw this, the, the liquor or the tea, that it's kind of this nice straw kind of, mm, not copper, definitely not copper. So I wouldn't say that it was totally oxidized, but it's a straw color and, Nice and clear. Sorry if there's like background. Oh yeah, no, no, it's fine. But I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna start drinking mine so we can slurp together. Oh yeah, I, I'm actually refilling right now. Sweet. There we go. You ready? Mine's this cool guy one where there's like a uh, there's a dragon on it, but when the when I put hot water in it, it changes color. Oh nice, the dragon or the uh, background. What's that? Oh, no, the dragon changes color. Oh, that is awesome. <coughs> All right. Cheers, friends. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that was nice. a good sip. Oof. That one, like, it, it was really airy. What, what? That was really airy. Like, I, I got a whole lot <laughs> yeah. of air on that You're one. You're, like, spraying it all over your palate. <laughs> exactly. I think that's that's the best sip I've ever had, really. Like when, when you try to make the noise, that's that's when you hit that sweet spot. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do that I'm more. I'm usually often. the one who chokes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a good way to go. <coughs> Ooh, this is hot. Hot tea. Oh, right out of the uh, right out of the pot. Yeah. I didn't burn my tongue. <laughs> oh. This one, I, I'm actually surprised but, that uh, it hasn't burned me because I, no. I have it on my um, my uh, cast iron teapot. And That's that usually, beautiful, by the way. Oh, thanks. Like, I love this, this thing. I had it from uh, World Market, and I had nice. it at, like, a deep discount. It was like 25 bucks for that. Like, I, I feel like I hit the jackpot when I found it. That's cool. Hey, I'm curious, like, whoever's watching now, like, what is everybody drinking? So you're drinking an oolong, Michael. Say hi, are you also drinking the oolong? No, she's not drinking anything. She's uh, <laughs> sitting at the at the computer she's right your, now. She's your producer. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's like, usually she waits until after it to, to, to drink. I don't know why, yeah, you hear that next time. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't leave anything for you. okay no i i usually have um half a half a pot left or i just brew a brand new pot and uh we share that one so i wind up on friday nights having a whole pot and a half worth of <laughs> worth of tea uh, and yeah that could be un unnerving just i'm grateful i don't have to work the next day <laughs> That's like a lot of water and a lot of caffeine. So my nights are very interesting. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Oh my gosh. There's like, this is like Grand Central Station over here. My dad's leaving a message on our answering machine. Yes, we still have an answering machine. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? I don't know. <laughs> Does it have a cassette tape? No. Oh, no. man, that would have been awesome. I know, I would have showed you that too, because cassette tapes are awesome. Oh yeah, people don't know. They don't know. Anyway, I'm, so the thing about the Gaiwan, my, I leave the tea leaves in here, and so people might think like, oh, it's very, um, it's going to get bitter, but here's the thing, it's a really small serving, so I'll, I'll finish it right away, but each sip is really different, it's really nice. Oh well, yeah, because I mean, like, it's the kind of thing that you just take a shot, basically, and uh, mm -hmm. take it a sip at a time. So it's not going to sit there and uh, and oversteep. It'll 
take uh, <laughs> it'll take years until that happens. Yeah. It'll be it'll be fine. Mm-hmm. And I'm like I'm also I'm practicing. So when you drink out of a guy one, it's like you hold the cup, but you're also holding this lid on top so that you don't eat the leaves. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean that's not going to be a good taste. <laughs> It's not gonna kill you. It's just not gonna be very tasty. No, no. You got like a behemoth mug there. How much is that? Um, I don't know. Just serving. Yeah, it's like it's. I I think this is about mm, eight ounces. I want to say. Uh, between eight and twelve ounces. Maybe it's the maybe it's the angle because I'm like, man, that is a huge (laughs) coffee mug. (laughs) Well, I mean, to me, it's it's more. It's more tall and thin oh, okay. than what I'm oh, used okay. to. Got it. So yeah, that's I'm I'm like just trying to average it out. I I honestly have no idea how much exactly it is. It's I should I should I should test it out. <laughs> I know that I have like my. Oh, I old... like what Liz says. Liz says she would love to see the collection of teapots you guys have. Oh, I just realized my thing has not been. Has not been. Uh, oh, your your comments. Yeah, my comments have not been scrolling. Oh, well, that stinks. Bad host. Bad host. I'm kidding. Bad host. <laughs> boo, boo me. Kidding. Boo me. No, 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 no. You're you're doing great. Oh yeah, Ma Ma has seen my uh, has has seen my my teapot collection. Um, I don't know if. Oh good. Cause I, I like I would show her photos every so often, but uh, I don't know if, she, if I've showed her this one. This one I use as my centerpiece, and this is also I got it from uh, from World Market. But check this out, like very beautiful work. It's there's a dragon that goes all the way around. Oh, I'm waiting like because of the uh, video delay. But oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I love this thing. And then it came with two cast iron teacups along with it. This is the only full set I have. That's lovely. Thanks. This is like oh, this was another one uh, that mm. came at huge discount. Again, twenty five bucks for the whole set. Sweet. Like I hit the jackpot on this one too. <laughs> so. But yeah, like uh, that's that's my favorite set. Don't want to make this one jealous, but <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> I think I need another sip. Yes, you do. Mm. Have that sip. Dang, I wish I could. Well, let's see. I wonder if I could show you. No, I, I'm like, no, I can't do this. I was like. Could I take a picture of the tea that I'm drinking and post it? But I can't do that right now. I do not have the capability. Like the, there is a way to do it um, from a computer. Oh, yeah, I know. But like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, that, that's when I when I send the uh, the gifts mm-hmm. on uh, on the tea chat. And oh, right. Like the last one I did, I forgot what it was. Uh, I forgot what that was for, but. I don't know. It'll it'll come back one of these days. Old man brain. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Uh, I think mine's I mean, saying who she else, loves. Who else is here? Um. Are you mean on the chat? Yeah, I just looking like. Okay. Yeah, I got uh, Mona Lisa's here. Snare. Um. My mom, Liz. Rachel is here. Uh. Oh. Let's see who else. I, I'm. I don't. Hi, mom. <laughs> I don't get the whole. Uh, the whole list. I just see who's like appearing at the top. Right. Yeah. It, right. If you don't. If they don't comment, then you can't tell. Uh, hi, Rachel. See, there's Rachel. Rachel. I. I got her addicted to tea. We used to work together, and uh, it started off with. Uh, which flavor was it? It was. It was a it was a sweet tea. I'm trying to remember, it was something that tasted like something. <laughs> it wasn't the root beer tea. It was 
Doggone it, I, I hope she'll remember. Rachel, if you remember, let me know. Um, but, uh, yeah, butterscotch, yeah, that's what it was, the butterscotch, yes. And butterscotch tea. Yeah, it was really good, like, I, I got her addicted to it, and <coughs> <coughs> I just Corona. started, like, Kidding. <laughs> exactly, Sorry. the only thing that can, uh, that can fight a beer is tea, there you go. Uh, but yeah, it's like, it, it was, I got her addicted and we, uh, <laughs> we started feeding each other's, uh, addictions on a very regular basis. <laughs> like, <clears throat> oh, and apparently, yeah, I, I made an impact on her husband too, apparently. It's, uh, he, I guess he loved the tea. Um, That's cool. but yeah, like this, this is, this is why I do what I do. It impacts so many people. And it's like a chain reaction, you know? That, mm -hmm. That's the very heart of, uh, of the community, you know? Like, reaching out and getting people addicted as much as I am, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're an enabler. Mm-hmm. Or you sound like a tea pusher, You're like you're pushing tea. Exactly. All you gotta do now is just walk around with a, a little mini scale like we do at the store. Oh, yeah, like, like a drug dealer. How much you want? How much you want? <laughs> Three dollars, three dollars, right here. <laughs> My husband's on a second seat. <coughs> He's on a what? He, so I'm sleeping um, the dark long again, but I did it for one minute, one ninety-five, and so my husband enjoys the second seat. Oh, nice. Of the yeah. I mean, and I guess I don't. I really don't know enough where it's like people do. They will rinse their oolong, you know, and way back when it was because you wanted to rinse out any impurities, and then that's where tea pets also come along, if you've ever seen those. You know, they're usually like clay animals. Um, sometimes they are like figurines of the Chinese zodiac, but mm -hmm. when you do that rinse of your tea, then you actually pour the tea over the tea pet, it's like as an offering. So that's like a cultural thing. Oh yeah, I was watching that. Uh, what was it? it? Was a it was a rabbit yesterday, right? It was. Yeah, that was my um, husband and kids gave it to me for Christmas. Yeah, it was cute. I don't want Sheila to bring hers, and Sheila is our boss over at Tulula, and Sheila has a squirrel apparently. So. Oh, the, or she has a puppy. Uh, I'm flying, sorry. Oh, puppy. Oh yeah, her spirit animal yeah, was the flying squirrel. That's right. That's what it was. <laughs> I pay attention. <laughs> you do. That's awesome. Excellent memory. Oh, yeah. And, you know, this is like when I'm at work, so I shouldn't be, but <laughs> it's like, yeah, try and bust me. <coughs> Too funny. I see Rachel. Does she also, you like the tea puns? Oh, yeah, the tea puns and the fake facts. So what I, I haven't done it in a while, but on Fridays... Uh, I call them Fake Fact Friday, and I would post go. some sort of, like, weird tea-related uh, story and, you know, like, let people uh, put their own. And, you know, it, it, it was popular at first, but I guess people don't want to write a whole lot, so I've kind of cut down a bit <laughs> on that one. Um, but people, people actually uh, loved reading them, so... Mm -hmm. On occasion, I'll, I'll still do Fake Fact Friday. That's fun. The oh, tea yeah. Tea is so good. Don't you love it when tea is just so good? Oh, yeah. Like, there are some days where it's a mood changer. You know, it's like you're just having one of those days, and then you come home, you make a whole pot of something that just mm -hmm. lifts your spirit. I mean, there have been times where this tea chat has saved my life and my sanity. <laughs> like, I come home after a really hard day, and then I drink some of this tea. I'm like, wow, this is exactly what I needed when I needed it. That's awesome. What's my what, Ma? What's my fake fact? Or what's my my spirit animal, maybe? I don't oh. know. I'm I'm assuming she wants to know my spirit animal, so I would have to say Teresa. My sister is my spirit animal. 
<laughs> we torture each other so much, but <laughs> we have we're we're just too much alike. That's cute. She's my little pet savage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she would she would beat me up so bad if she was here. Ah, uh, yep, that is exactly what uh, she was asking. My spirit animal. <laughs> yeah, so funny. Okay, so uh, no, for real. What's my spirit animal? Um, I've had a couple uh, in my life. I think that currently my spirit animal is. Hmm. I think right now my spirit animal is a turtle. What? A turtle? It's a, a turtle, yeah, because I'm okay. feeling very mellow, very sullen, very... Like, I picture a turtle as being a wise creature who takes his time and, you know, think th thinks things through and offers advice. And I think that that's where I've been lately. Um, mm, where a lot of go. people... I'm putting a, I'm putting a link right now. Of what my Here turtle, of what it means. The turtle spirit animal. I really feel akin to a, a, a turtle tonight. So there it is, because it's uh, characterized by association with the earth, symbols of groundedness and patience. Yeah. Look at that. Sounds about Slowing right. down, pacing yourself. Determination and persistence. Yes, that cool. is, that is exactly. I mean, when uh, when I announced last week that I'm trademarking the uh, the community, uh, this has been already a very uh, a very long and drudging process. Um, mm -hmm. Considering that there's so many risks, uh, I've had to slow myself down and think things through and. Instead of jumping into it, this is, I find myself having reached that maturity in life where instead of just reacting and going and doing, I'm taking the time to plan and I'm taking the time to uh, grow and, and analyze the, the, the risks and the path ahead and, <coughs> oh, excuse me, and slowly oh, but surely I find <laughs> Another step. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very, uh, very low. I could have maybe three or four steps left, if that. Very small uh, steps. Same. And I know. I don't mean to like leave so soon, but I know I have to leave a little. Oh, I have to leave sooner than later because my dad had called. I need to answer his phone call. Oh no worries. You know, I mean, it's uh, <clears throat> purely voluntary. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, <coughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's my advice for everybody <laughs> now. Just always slow think down. ahead. Yeah, slow down, think ahead, analyze the path before you, and walk it. <laughs> Here you go. And then if you happen to find uh, a rat, learn as much karate from him as, as you can. You know, it's, <laughs> that's, that's the philosophy of life. And then hope you get doused with mutagenic ooze. The end. <laughs> yeah, that, that took a weird turn, but you know, <laughs> this is this is the way it goes. I'll send. Here's one. Not to get so like into the whole spirit animal. This is mine. The snow leopard. The snow leopard. That's right. I was trying to remember. What yours was? It was take. I it was. I thought it was. I kept thinking panther, but it wasn't a panther. Mm -mm. And how is that dark, Snea? I was talking about like learning karate. I was going to Ninja Turtle school thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although the original comic book Ninja Turtles was very dark, but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> that's another show. Oh yeah. So oh, okay, we so could do like a tasting <laughs> based on this. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, 
usually at this time I start taking questions and there's this one question that my sister always asks. So I'm going to get your opinion on this one. Um, if you could pair Big Red Robe with any food, what would you pair it with? Oh, that's a good question. Um, so Big Red Robe. So background, I'm Filipino, love Filipino Chinese food. And, you know, so many times you go to a Chinese restaurant and you're going to get an oolong. Oh, yeah. So that's all I can really think of at this point. But um, honestly, the first thing. Restaurant- the first thing that comes to mind is I would go, I would probably stay in the Asian cuisine. Mm-hmm. Mm. So with the big red robe, you know, I, because I like the roastiness of it, like maybe like a, like a noodle dish with, with like a beef that was like kind of grilled. I'm trying to think what is, that's just like Mandarin beef. I don't even know. But what? Hong Kong steak. My husband is yelling at me. Yeah, actually, Hong that Kong would be good with big red robe. Yeah, that's I'm... beef. Okay, see, here comes my husband. Yeah, he, you should really ask him. Actually, <laughs> he's, he's the foodie. He is. We are. He is. Um, I think I may have taken really a step back. So in my former life, before I started working at Tulula, I actually did a food. Um, which we call it a food column for patch.com in the Park Ridge Niles area. And so I would come up with recipes and I would, I would visit the local groceries or, you know, whatever the ethnic groceries and whatnot. And then I'd have to like do a taste test. Well, it's the only reason I stopped was because they wouldn't pay me anymore. There was no budget, so. uh-huh. <laughs> but it, it was a lot of fun. Oh, I could imagine. Anyway. Oh, barbecue, barbecue pork, roast duck. There you go. Oh, I love roast duck. Michael loves roast duck. That is... There you go. Whew, that is my spirit oh, animal please. food right there. I should just have you talk. <laughs> Hold on. Sure. Oh, yeah, they do. Wait. Some places serve a smoked tea duck. Smoked tea duck? With Wait, lapsang? Wait, would lapsang suchang then? And then oh. they're... No, we don't know exactly how it's done. No, I'm not online, but you want to talk? Okay. <laughs> I'm just the facilitator. Aww. But the smoked tea duck, I will look into that. I will look into that recipe and then post it for you. Yes, absolutely, because that is something that I would definitely be interested in trying. Like, I've never made duck before, but if I can mm-hmm. find some, oh, yeah. I would definitely try it. <laughs> it's hard to make duck at home, especially like you're not going to make Peking duck at home. You oh yeah, yeah, no, that's going to be very. My husband is shaking his head. He's like, yeah, he was, <laughs> some stuff you just buy. Yeah, like for something like that, it's so complex and intricate. I oh yeah, and even... it's fatty. Oh yeah, it is. I mean, I here would, it is. I would. You just... got to go with this. With the oh the chef, uh, here we go. I got it for you, Chef Anita Lowe. Now, I have not made this. We have not made this. But she is awesome. I can imagine. Like, if she's, if she's dealing in duck, that's already, she's already won my heart right there. Well, she smokes it, yeah. She smokes it with Lapsang Suchan. Oh, yes. That's my, you know, that's my favorite. That's, that's... <laughs> it's one of mine. Yep. Yep, that was... Sure. When, I, when I took your first class, that, I was the one that suggested the Lapsang. Yeah. You're just like, yeah, what's up, that? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, everywhere I go, I try the lapsang because, you know, that that's very much a. It tells you the um, the quality of the shop, basically. At least in my opinion, that's, if you get a that's good, your, that's your go-to. Yeah, like if you get a good smoky lapsang in there, I was like, I will try the rest of everything that you have. But That's if you awesome. get like this, this weak, kind of smoky, I'm like, it, it, it doesn't, it, if it doesn't fill my entire lung, then uh-huh. I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm not interested. Interesting. And you know what? It's a, it's very much like you either, you like it or you don't. I mean, yeah. some people are just so turned off by the smoke. Yeah. And it's like, 
it, it feels to me like they're missing out. <coughs> I always, whenever I have well, lapsang. more for you. Yeah, exactly. Like, whenever I have lapsang at work, I uh-huh. ask who's a, 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 a brand new tea drinker. I'm like, how brave are you? And <laughs> depending on their answer. But I, I found that more men tend to like it than women. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I, I, I get it. It's not going to be for everyone. But um, for the women that do like it, they tend mm-hmm. to be very uh, exploratory and very, very curious about, about tea. And so about those are the food ones that. Tea. Yeah. Like they're, they're more adventurous, right? Oh, yeah, so, absolutely. That's cool. All right. So I am doing one more sip here. One more doing sip. Doing another. Sip? One more steep. Is it a 30 second steep? You want back to no, the this will be a little bit longer. This will be about a minute or so. And my guy won. Do you see one, another one? So my husband's will be about, it will be a little bit over a minute because like, oh, well, maybe a minute. We'll see. I give or take. I mean. And then, <coughs> it is, it is very much give or take because what I do is, um, so I have like a little glass pot that's like a six ounce serving, like mm-hmm. six ounce, seven, six ounce. Um, it's like our sample, sample pot over at the store, but um, that's all there is. And that's like a serving for my husband. Um, and I had mine in the guy one. But, yeah, got a minute and pour it out. So. Yeah, all right, that works. And uh, do you find there's a significant difference between the 30 second and the minute? Um. Well, so then you're going, you're looking at the 30 second and the minute. The, the very first seat is the 30 second one. And um, for me, there's definite flavor. I think there's like, more roastiness, but then with the minute, the second seat, it's like, it's, it's smooth, right? I mean, they're both smooth, but the second yeah. seat is smoother. Well, and yeah, because you're going to get more of the flavor behind it. it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, and it's like not, a, it's hard to say when you, when I say sweet, sometimes I, I almost always end up saying like, but it's not a sugary sweet. And that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's like, there's a sweetness to it or like a flavor that's like almost maybe caramelly. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I get it. There's so many different levels of sweet. Like you have sugar sweet, you have honey sweet, you have honeydew sweet, which is like a fruity, uh, a, a super fruity sweet right like a creamy yeah yeah. so then i mean like it's uh, if you say it's not a sugary sweet i get it you know it's it's just because you're a tea drinker oh yeah that's true i mean i've got experience (laughs) i'm still i still have got to figure out i I keep forgetting i have yeah we all have we all have stuff to figure out oh absolutely oh it's hot oh no what do you do Uh -oh. oh no Tea disaster. <laughs> no, it was hot. He almost burned his mouth. Oh. He got impatient. <laughs> He's all good. Thumbs up. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> Ooh, I'm dying. <clears throat> Very fun. All right. Well, it has been a joy. Thank you. With fellow tea drinkers. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. This has been very uh, educational as well as fun. And I do it's always fun with tea friends. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And I do still have a bag of the Park Ridge blend in my cabinet. So when I taste that, <laughs> you're welcome to come and talk about that as well. <coughs> that was one of the first green teas I bought. The very first green tea I bought from Tulula was the Japanese cherry. Oh, I um, can imagine. And then I prepared it wrong at home, so it tasted terrible. Oh, oversteeped, too hot. Too hot. Mm, yeah, we we've all that done that. That was like <laughs> <laughs> that was twelve years ago. Oh man, that must have been awful. But now you you've learned. I mean, sometimes we you have to learn, learn, well, it was, it was so bad, I called. 
I called Sheila because I thought, did I just buy terrible tea? So I called her. I'm like, uh, this doesn't taste right. <laughs> and she was like, well. <laughs> and she said, well, how did you prepare it? And it's like, and there you go. Yeah, that that would definitely. Uh, I, I we've all been there. I I've made that same mistake years ago as well, and it, I I still do on occasion. Oh, I know. But I get it. Like, it happens. Yeah, but thankfully, like once you learn, you understand what's what you did wrong, then you can adjust it for next time. But <clears throat> Jasmine is the worst one to do. <laughs> that's, Ooh, that's yeah. Ooh, it's that's like pretty bad. It's like drinking soap right out of the right out of the little bottle thing. It's just wow. It's like yeah, just too flowery, and then it's like, and then the tea is deep wrong, and it's, yeah, that's a mess. Yeah, it's just, oh, hi Sylvia. I'm hi, like Sylvia? I'm going, but <laughs> hi Sylvia. All right, everyone, take care. Wash mm-hmm. your hands. And uh, drink all the Be hand well. sanitizer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm? so drink yeah, all the drink. hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. Just keep don't hydrated. do it. Don't just... listen to me. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> <clears throat> you you need to you need to like I don't know. Just I will. Tea. I'm, I'm I'm continuing to drink tea. I'm on I'm on the. Uh, the 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 recovery end of this cough, it just always Good. lingers for weeks and weeks after. Ugh, it's the worst. I, right, it's the last thing to go. Yeah, it's like why I I can I've been able I to breathe know. this entire time. Why are you still here? That's cool. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. All right, friend. I am gonna let you go. It was awesome. Hey, everybody. Thanks for letting me hijack the chat and all that and, and you're more than welcome we to hijack it later. anytime you want thank you so <laughs> much we'll figure out the video part yeah like i'll, I'll i mean i'm thinking about switching to twitch that might that might do something i don't know i'm i've never used twitch all that much so i'll figure it out but we'll see that's cool my son has i think oh well, then i'll have to like take notes from him <laughs> like i, I know, know right I'll have, to, I'll have to ask him I will have to ask. <coughs> All right. See you, everybody. Have a great right, weekend. Have a great night. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, thank you all for joining us. This has been an incredible experience. Thanks once again to Juliet, who uh, took her time out tonight to join us and share her her wisdom and knowledge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and down the rest of this. I am going to do my best to feel better. Thank you very much. Uh, And to everybody else, have a great night. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you next week. Bye.